I'm Felix, and this is my project on ancient Greece. And oh. I'm Annabelle, and I'll be helping you out. Okay, let's start with geography. So, where was ancient Greece? Ancient Greece was located in the southeastern part of Europe in the northern hemisphere. It has many independent city states. In ancient Greece, the clothes were usually very simple, like, for example, a cheaton, which I'm wearing, and Anna. It's also wearing a cheaton. The cheaton is a soft fabric which could be made out of sheets or really anything. Cheaton was usually worn by both genders. Meals in ancient Greece were very, very strange, if you ask me. For breakfast at 7.30, they would have bread dipped in wine. I'm just joking. I'm 11. Who do you think I am? And at 12.30, they would have a light lunch, 12.30 p.m. Like, imagine having lunch at 12.30 a.m. And, and at Sunset, they would have a huge dinner, usually composed sometimes with grapes, most of the times with bread and cheese. Language and writing in ancient Greece. The language spoken in ancient Greece was, um, let me think, obviously Greek, like what else could it be? There were four major wars in ancient Greece, but my favorite one was the Peloponnesian War because this is Sparta. Don't worry about my sister, she's a bit all loopy in the head. daily life in ancient Greece you ask as a man I would go to the agora with my friends and have fun all day as a woman I had to stay home and made sh and make sure the household was running smoothly it sucked I'm happy things have changed now same <laughs> They had many city states. Each city state had its own government. Over time, they all changed. It's crazy that the first type of coins, currency, was introduced in ancient Greece. Different city states had different economies and traded goods with each other, like cereals, wines, olives, figs, pulses eels, cheese, and honey. Also, coins were first introduced as currency in ancient Greece around 625 BC. Within 200 years, most city-states were producing coins and gold and silver. Sadly, there was slavery in ancient Greece. People became slaves in ancient Greece after they were captured in wars. They were then sold to their owners other slaves were by nature born into slave families. Male slaves usually worked in the fields as craftsmen or as assistants to soldiers. Plato. Plato was a very famous philosopher from ancient Greece. Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great started a vast empire. Aristotle. Aristotle invented the field of formal logic. There are 14 Greek gods, but I don't think I should list them all, but here are a few of my favourites. Zeus, god of the sky. Poseidon, god of the sea. Ares, god of fire. Hades, god of the underworld. Athena, god of war. And Apollo, god of the sun. Five of my favourite inventions from ancient Greece. Number one, democracy. Number two, the Olympics. Number three, the theory of the planets orbiting the sun. Number four, olive oil and cheesecake. Number five, maps. And here is a summary of the timeline of ancient Greece.
much for watching. This is the end of my project, but maybe we can tell you more after our trip next year to Greece.